listening to Prank Calls Only with Leon Haberdashery. Here we go! Here we go! This is Leon. I'm not real swift with computer. Leon Haberdashery. They don't block the blessings of any children. No tacos for you, sir. Bye. Fuck you. This is Leon. Brock, Captain, you can count me out of that one. I don't have eggnog. I never did pour eggnog there. I don't have any. It's not us, I swear to the Lord, it's not us. Nobody smeared any chocolate pudding any place. No one has any chocolate pudding. You're calling me rich, the bitch, and stuff like this. If you ever fucking say that again, you can kiss my ass. He's telling me I'm putting pudding on somebody's car in the neighborhood. Eggnog in the lake, huh? This must be either a prank or a joke, because I don't even know who you're talking about. You're saying that she exposes her nipples? My wife walks out yelling dead Ed and showing her nipples. She might start like Katie. <laughs> who is this? What up, motherfuckers? It's Leon. And you're listening to episode 25 of Prank Calls with Leon Haberdashery. This episode, we called a bunch of HOA residents and accused them of wild shit. Be sure to catch the live show streaming across all major platforms every other Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, you can catch Snake Bites, the bonus episodes, now being released twice a month on the Patreon. Thanks to everyone supporting the show there. Our last bonus episode even made local news headlines where we were calling. Here's that snippet. City of says someone is calling residents posing as a call center representative. Several people report a man saying he's calling about garbage collection concerns and uses inappropriate language. They say the number making the scam calls is The city stresses the calls are not from them and ignore them if you get one. If you don't want to commit to the monthly subscriptions, check out my Buy Me a Coffee page where you can make one-time content purchases and donations. All the links are in the show notes or can be found at leonhabadashery.com. All right, that's enough talking. Let's prank. This is Danny Glow. You're listening to the worst prank call show ever. You got that? Hello? Uh, hello, is this Big Mary? I guess. What is this? My name is Ed from S*** Creek. Okay. Is this Big Mary? It's not Big Mary, but it's Mary Ann. Oh, right, yeah. Yep, my name is Ed. Uh, I'm on the HLA board for S*** Creek. Just calling, first of all, to welcome you to the neighborhood. Thank you. Could you could you turn that, that, TV, that TV down? It's my husband on the telephone. Oh, my goodness. Could you just maybe... Tell him to sh- shut the fuck up while we're on the on the telephone. Um, wait a minute. Maybe you better talk to him. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. He won't be able to place, and he's having the time to shut the fuck up. Hello. 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 Yes. Is this Chuck? It is. Hey, Big Chuck, this is Ed. I'm calling from the HOA board here at Uh Creek. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just having, I was trying to have a conversation with that wife of yours, and I don't know, you were just jitter-jattering and... and I was on another call. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, like I said, I was calling from the HOA with some serious business and all that yammering you were doing in the background. It was just real distracting. Well, I'm sorry. (laughs) No worries. I didn't know you were going to call. No worries. So... Yeah, we were just calling to, first of all, welcome you to the neighborhood. Uh, we, we saw you just kind of moved in, is that correct? Yeah, we moved in uh, actually Christmas Day. Wonderful. Are you liking it so far? Well, so far, yeah, it's a lot of, of course, it's a lot of work getting set, you know, get settled in. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, so yeah. are you aware of the HOA meetings? Did they tell you about that? <sighs> Then, I know that they happen. Uh, when they are, I haven't heard. Right. So uh, right now, we've been battling. We got down here and immediately ran into some health issues with my wife. In fact, uh, 
Huh? I got uh, I got four appointments with her in the next week. Oh, I see. Nice. In fact, nice. I just got the first day we were here. She wound up in uh, the ER at uh, one regional. Oh wow! Sorry to hear that. So, no need to brag though. Uh, the ma the meetings they're not mandatory or anything. The next one is is January seventeenth at seven p.m. And we okay. we would just love it though if you could come. We are having a annual circle jerk and uh, lactation party as well for the ladies. Okay. Yep. Start to. I, I think I, I think they might be a little past that age, but your wife's not lactating anymore. I don't think so. No. <laughs> when I when I talked to her on the phone just now, she did sound like a lady who has pretty strong tits. Okay. I mean, does she have big nipples? Uh, that's a little bit inappropriate, don't you think? Oh, well, I mean, this is a swingers community. You do you do realize that, right? Uh, not for us. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. If you do come on over to the HOA meeting on the seventeenth, I mean, we could we could show you what this community is all about. I could get familiar with your wife's breast, and you could get familiar with my wife's breast. We could examine penises and just share traits and, and all of that you know i don't think so <laughs> what do you mean i think you can count me out of that you can count me out of that one well this is florida buddy well maybe oh well i just thought that you were kind of into that kind of party okay do you bag your leaves hello hello is this uh big rudy no, this is Missy, but hold on, I can give you Rudy, hold on a second. Uh-huh, sure thing. Well? Hey, hello, is this is this Rudy with the big booty? Yes, it's Rudy. Hey, Rudy, how are you doing? Not bad, who's that? My name is Ed, I'm with the sh HOA. Okay. Yeah, I saw you just... Let me turn this down a little Let me turn this to you down a little bit. Oh yeah, sure. Hey, okay. how you doing, sir? I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, I saw you had just moved into the community. Is that correct? Yeah, we've been here a month. That is wonderful. wonderful. December, December the fourth, we moved in. Sounds lovely, lovely. Uh, I just wanted to formally welcome you to the neighborhood. I saw that you were on lot four twenty. Uh, that's a lovely lot to have. Mm, yes, yeah, so you should be. Uh, can't remember his name now. Sammy Haley's. Oh. What was that? Uh, the, the house we bought used to belong to uh, lived here, Sammy Haley. Uh huh. I don't know if you know her or not. Right. Well, anyway, no, I don't. The reason for my call is is that we got actually a couple of complaints, just several complaints that that tenant, a roommate of yours, Missy was actually rolling barrels of eggnog off into the pond? Uh, <laughs> that wasn't happening. Uh, yeah, we've like I said, we've got several complaints here in the office. Uh, it's been brought to my attention that you and your your tenants were yeah, rolling eggnog off into the pond? No. No? No. Uh, sir, are, are you under water right now, or what's going on? Like, are you, are you talking on a potato? <laughs> no, sir, I'm not. Oh. Huh. Did you drop the phone in the bathtub? No, I'm holding it upside down. I'm going to try to call you back, sir. Hello? Hey, is this Missy again? Yes, it is. Hey, Missy. Uh, yeah, this is Ed calling back with the HOA. We were having some kind of audio issues. I don't know if you were talking on a potato or, or what, but I'm calling oh, back. okay. Because you, you've been accused of rolling eggnog off into the pond and the creeks behind the homes. I just wanted to call and let you know that you cannot dump any kind of uh, liquids. We, weren't, we were not doing that. You can't, you're not in trouble as it stands. There's no fines. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to penalize Yeah, but you. I don't know how, we don't even live by the water. <laughs> no, no, I know. You've been walking the barrels and rolling them through the neighborhood. I mean, we got about no. 10, 
tw- 10 or 12 complaints here at the HOA office. Uh, it's, it's not us. I'm telling you, we don't even have them barrels. <laughs> No, no, it's. I don't know if you guys get drunk, if you guys are partying a little too hard with the no, New Year. No, 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 we are not. Now, there was a party over here New Year's Eve at Kathy's house, but we weren't partying. Uh, so, I mean, do you guys have like an oversupply of eggnog or is there... Is, is, no, we don't have eggnog. Are you needing to get rid of eggnog? Is that why you're rolling the barrels through the neighborhood? No, man, sir, we do not have eggnog. The thing I, about I don't even it drink is, the stuff. it's not that you, we already know that you have it. We know. I mean, we have it. On, we do not have eggnog. We've got it on camera. We've got, we've spoke to so many people in the neighborhood. I'm talking 10 people. Uh, we know that Rudy, he barrels it up and he rolls it through the neighborhood and then he dumps it off behind in the creeks behind the houses. You can't do that. No, no. It's not us, I swear to the Lord, it's not us. We don't even drink eggnog or have eggnog. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I don't know who it is, but we just moved in, and we have, like, we had today, we had uh, Bill Stone and them all in there, in here doing all this work and stuff mm. at our house. So we, we've been, you know, unpacking and doing that, but we haven't had no parties, no nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you don't have to lie. Like I said, it's, it's, you're not in trouble. Sir, I hate to see this video and see if it's me and my husband because I'm telling you it's not us. The, the neighbors also have, they have put in a petition, and we've got about 50 signatures. And, and we're wondering if you could also just keep your nipples to yourself. Sir, you're, you're being rude. No, no. I mean, I'm just going off of the HOA complaints and the list. You're being rude. I'm not being rude at all. I'm just I'm just addressing these complaints that we have on the desk here. I have not. I'm, I have been covered up completely. I haven't even gone to the pool. Oh. Would your husband maybe want to trade underwear with me? Hello. Is this Charlie? Yes. Hey, Big Charlie, this is Ed. I'm calling from the HOA sh- Creek. Yes. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Um, calling with some HOA business this evening. Whoa, is there a way that you could just maybe turn that stuff down in the background? Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, so the reason for my call, first of all, we see that you're new HOA resident, is, is that correct? Yep. That's great. Yep. Are you liking it so far? Oh, yeah. That's great. Wonderful. So I am an HOA block captain, and it was actually brought to my attention that you were rolling barrels of eggnog down into the creek and into the ponds behind the houses. Uh, you, you, can't, you can't roll or throw any kind of liquids into the ponds or the creeks. Uh, as it stands, you're not in any trouble I just wanted to bring it to your attention that you can't do that. All right. Thanks for the tip. Oh, so do you admit it and, and do, you, do you apologize or? <laughs> Who is this? My name is Ed and I'm a block captain for the HOA. I actually run this block. Block captain? Block captain. I run the block, yeah. Block. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I am the block. Eggnog, eggnog in the lake, huh? Yeah, is is there like? Do you have an oversupply of eggnog this season, or? <laughs> it's really, it's really okay. not funny. Who put, who put, who put you up to this? A uh, DHOA, sir. Okay. They uh, gave me a list of complaints to address this evening. You know, as we get into the new year, and I don't, I don't understand the joke or what would be funny. Well, I think it's rather humorous. You must have the wrong guy, apparently. No, no. I've definitely. This oh. is Charlie, right? Lot five. Yeah. Got the right guy. Uh, like I said, you're not in any trouble. Um, you just can't do that. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the tip. And also, one, All right. f- one final thing. If you could tell that wife of yours to keep her nipples to herself, uh, this is not that kind of community. And it really, really pissed off the town priest. 
Now you're starting to piss me off. So who is this? My name is Ed, and I'm the block captain. I'm the captain. I run this block. What's your, la what's your last name, Ed? You, you sound like you might be a little violent. I'm not sure that I want to give that information. I sound like I'm starting to get pissed off. So wh where do you live? I'd like to speak with you face to face. I have no obligation to give you my home address. I, I just represent <laughs> the block. Who puts you up to this? Um, yeah, goodbye. Okay, bye. Why do you keep talking to somebody that's making no sense? Hello? Hello, is this Big Karen? Who is this? My name is Ed, calling on the HOA board for s***. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's wonderful. You just came up on my list, and first of all, I'm calling to welcome you to the neighborhood. And uh, there were a few issues. Uh, one of the neighbors did bring a complaint to our attention. Were you aware of that complaint? Complaint about what? Uh, well, Susan... She was making a, a batch of, I guess, sun tea, and she said that she came by and poured sugar in it. And we were just curious as to why you would have been messing with anyone's tea or, or property on their, their lot. Who is this? My name is Ed, calling on the HOA board for Shalimar Creek. Ed who? A uh, helm? I'm not sure why that matters. I don't know who you're talking about. Right. So I'm talking about you. Uh, Karen, and I'm talking about the sun tea that you poured sugar in. That was on Susan's yard, her lot. Uh, she actually called, and she was rather upset, and she, she showed us the pictures of you, you know, kind of masked up and pouring the sugar into her tea. She just asked that, you know, you stay off her lot and not do that again. Uh, you must. This must be either a prank or a joke, because I don't even know who you're talking about. Susan, she's in lot f I don't know what kind of a prank it would be at all. I, I really don't know what you're talking about because I don't have, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, all I can say is in the future, if you'd like to, huh? you can make your own sun tea and pour your own sugar in that on your own lot, but please stay off Susan's. Sun tea. I'm sorry. What did you say it is? Uh, um, sun tea. She said she was making a batch of her fresh winter sun tea, and she she actually had pictures. Are you going to be at the ne Are you going to be at the next board meeting on the seventeenth? Yeah, I will definitely be there. Yeah, I said I'm I'm one of the block captains for the HOA, so I'm at every single meeting. I don't miss one. I've never seen I've never seen you at a meeting. Oh, um, yeah, every single one. And I'm going to let you know that Susan will be sending you the bill for the raid ant killer because the sugar. You missed, and you got quite a bit of it on her patio and her porch. And because of that, it just attracted so okay. many ants. Who is this? <laughs> my, Who name, is this? my name is Ed. I don't, I don't understand why. That's, okay, can I have your phone number? I believe it's the one that showed up on your caller ID. H. That's the one, the one that's on your caller ID. Well, tell me your number. Well, it's the one that's on your caller ID. I don't see where No, what is your number? I'm actually in a office around people, and I can't give out that confidential information because I don't trust the person next to me. Okay, well, the office is closed right now. Right. I didn't say I was in, in the office. I'm in a call center for the HOA. Now, I'm curious. What HOA would that, what HOA would that be? Freak. I addressed myself by that when I first called. Okay, I, I'm i sorry, I don't know. You know Dick. You know about. Dick as the president, right? Yeah, but I don't understand what this is about at It's all. about you entering someone else's property and pouring sugar into someone else's tea. It's I a, haven't. That doesn't make any sense. Are you listening exactly. to what you're saying? No, I know. It, it, it doesn't make any I'm sense at all. And when was this? It was on, I believe. You know, let me look at the notes here. So it looks like the 13th of December so Th it's actually been a while <laughs> the 13th of December that's what my notes say and yeah we've been reviewing the and we've kind of investigated that's a Monday. it what that's yeah a Monday it, Mondays would be that would be about right 
<laughs> hey, I don't know. Could I don't you, know what this one's for Katie Long. Could you have the man in the background either come to the phone like a big boy or no. just shut the fuck up? Excuse me? No, no, I was saying if you could have him come to the phone like a big boy or just shut the fuck up. Because it's really hard to talk to. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Big Ted? Yes. Hey, Big Ted, how are you? My name is Ed. I'm Ooh. calling from the HOA here. At uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I saw you just moved in. Is that correct? In November, yeah. Yeah, that's great. How do you like it? Love it. <laughs> nice. Wonderful. Yeah, so the reason for my call is that we actually got a, a couple of complaints from some of the neighbors there and lots around you. I just wanted to call and address it with you. Were you, were you aware of the complaints? No. Nope. Okay, well, as the block captain, it's my duty to give you a call. Uh, basically, about six or seven of your neighbors said that you had been rolling barrels of eggnog down into the creek and the ponds behind the homes. Just calling basically to let you know that you cannot do that. You can't roll anything down into the ponds or into the lakes. I didn't put no eggnog in there. Right, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, All I put back there was just dirt. Right, yeah. Uh-huh. And so that you can't put back there. You can't You can't dump anything into the pond or the lake or the water. Okay. Uh, um, but especially the eggnog, because what that does, it, it just causes a problem, and, and it really... What is it? What, eggnog what? What do you mean eggnog? Like the holiday. I don't know if you had some kind of... Uh, I don't even have that. I don't, I don't even have that. I don't know talking about that. I did go dirt, and that's it, you know. Dirt right. I had dug up from the front, that's all. Yeah, no, the dirt's not a problem. It's it's the egg knock. You know, we, we can't have you pouring that into the legs. And no, no, what I'm trying to say, sir, is I don't have egg knock. I never did pour egg knock there. I don't have any. I've never had it. What the fuck is egg knock? Yeah, that's a like a caramel drink that comes around at Christmas. It's like no. a milk, you know... A, liqueur milk drink no no right i'm saying eggnog not egg knock uh anyway the the point of the matter the the you cannot do it you're guilty okay and you cannot pour or roll barrels of holiday beverages through our neighborhood uh we'd love that you're here we welcome you we are glad that you enjoy it but in the future just please keep your overstock of eggnog you got to pour that stuff down your toilet or or your sink you can't pour it into the lakes and keep your nipples to sure. keep your nipples to yourself, sir. Please. No problem. Because I'm the type of guy I, I like fucking butts and, and busted nuts, and I'm the type of guy that'll just come over there and kiss you right on the lips and get down to business. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Whatever they're talking about, I, I don't remember doing something like that, so it won't happen again. Good. Now, uh, how'd you celebrate your New Year's? Did you have a good one? Yeah, I went three houses down and. Had you know, a couple of drinks with the neighbors. Hmm. You fucked some neighbors. Yeah, Gail and uh, DJ. Oh, yeah. I knew they were swinging, but I didn't know they got down like that. How was her pussy? Yeah, they went down there and just had a couple cocktails and little munchies. It was nice. Yeah. Did she suck your dick? No, no, sir. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought she would have let you fuck. Who is this? She let me fuck the first time we met. Yeah, okay. I mean, I slid up in between them thighs like butter, baby. Real quick. Hello? What are you talking about, sir? Well, I was just waiting on you to hang up. It got kind of awkward a little bit ago. I'm getting pretty close the way you're talking. Your voice is really making my prostate vibrate. Hello? Hello. Is this Lice or Lise? Lise, yeah, speaking. Hey, big fat Lise, it's Ed. Oh, hi. How are you? Are you talking to me Who on? Who are you? Are you talking to me on some type of shoe or a potato or something? Well, I'm on the, the speakerphone. Huh. It's real hard to make out anything that you're saying. Okay. Could you take me off speakerphone? <laughs> yes, I saw. What's going on? Wonderful. Yeah. So is the, better? Yes, it is. Wonderful. So the reason for my call, uh, first of all, welcome to the community. We saw you just moved in. Is that correct? 
Yes, yes, yes. Lovely. Do you how do you like it? Do you like it here? Oh yeah, we love it here. That's great. Wonderful. We're glad to have you. Uh, so the, the one thing is we've got several complaints from about six or seven of the neighbors next to you that you keep your nipples pretty much just out at all times. Anytime you exit your home, it's just nipples. You know, you can't, what? you can't, you can't expose your nipples to the community like that. You, you, we, can, we can what? You've been exposing your nipples every time you walk out of your lot and you get to the edge of the street, you just, your nipples. It's really uncomfortable to actually call and talk to you about this. Like I said, six, seven. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hi. You're saying that she, she exposes her nipples? Yeah, it's, I'm sorry, who's this? I'm the husband. Okay, great, yeah. So my name's Ed, I'm calling on the HOA board. Yeah, so the problem is that the nipples, they've got to stay inside of the shirt. Like I said, I'm pretty uncomfortable to call and have to do this, but I... No, I, you're just joking. You're joking. You're I'm, joking. There's no, what joke would... I don't understand. Sir, just if you could... It, 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 I'm sorry? It, 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 it just doesn't happen, man. Yeah, so if you could just have your wife keep her nipples to herself, that'd be great. That's a joke, man. I know it is. This time it's a warning, but we will start issuing fines. Like I said, it's not a laughing matter. Um, I don't know if she's doing this. You can, issue all the, you can issue all the fines you want. My wife don't do that shit, man. I don't know if this is when if you think if you, if you think she does, you want to come down here and talk to me, I'll straighten you out. Listen, we at the HOA here in the clubhouse, we actually... I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit where you're from. Listen. Or what you do. We do sell yeah. nipple pasties, and I would be glad to offer you a discount. <laughs> I would be glad to offer you a discount here at the HOA office. Wait, who is this anyway, you son of a bitch? My, my name is, there's no need for that type of language. <laughs> so who is this really? My name is Ed. I'm calling from the <laughs> HOA board. No, you're not. Yeah. Ed, so. What's your last name, Ed? It, it doesn't really matter. It's, Ed who? It's, but it doesn't really matter. Are, are you going to be coming to the HOA meeting on the 17th? No, probably not, but, you know, why not? At least please so, come by the HOA office and pick up just a pack of the nipple pasties. It'll be on me. Okay, buddy. We'll do that. It's okay. Okay. Now, Will, when you come to the meeting, do you think your wife will be attending with her nipples, or, or is she going to leave those at home? No, she'll, she'll bring her nipples. Okay. Bring a shirt now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> So she'll bring your nipples on the 17th. You know that I'm the HOA block captain, sir? I can issue really heavy oh. fines. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> I can charge for both nipples. Oh, yeah, both. How much per nipple? I don't know. I can impose those fees <laughs> as I see fit. <laughs> oh, my. It's good, 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 good joke, though. I get it. I don't understand what the <laughs> joke would be. And do you know your neighbor, Susan? <laughs> You know your neighbor Susan? Susan? No, I don't really. In, in Susan, yeah. Lot, I know she said you came yeah. actually a couple of streets over, and she said you poured sugar in, in her sun tea. Why in the hell would you do that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Good night. Hello? Hello, is this big, fat, wide, nasty John? Yeah, who's this? My name is Ed. I'm calling from the HOA board. At yeah. Yeah, I was actually just calling to uh, welcome you, first of all, to the neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Well, so far, but I'm not there right now. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, well, so the reason, the reason for my call is, uh, are you going to be coming to the meeting on January 17th? Um... There's that possibility. Okay. Yeah. We'd really like you to participate if you could. Uh, we're kind of... I'm sorry? Which meeting? The HOA meeting, the homeowners oh, the meeting. HOA meeting. Yeah, the homeowners meeting. Okay. If I'm physically capable, I will. You do know that you were voted in as the block captain of your street? Did you get the mail? How, how could that be? You were voting. I hope you got the right. I, I wonder if you got the right John. Yeah. Yep. 
definitely. Um, you were voted in a couple of weeks ago. By who? By the community. You're the blockhead. Oh, uh, I don't know how anybody would blow vote me in. I, I've only met a couple of people. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, you must have made one a wonderful, hell of an impression. Uh, pretty much nobody else wanted the job, though, either. And so uh, they voted you in as the block captain. So John the Blockhead, that's you. And we're going to need your presence at the HOA board because you need to come prepared with three good questions. Three good questions? Yeah, for the community. How am I going to do that? It's just three. For the community. Yeah, just, it's just three questions. It could be any questions. I'll even give you the questions. We can write them in, but absentees will be fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Absentees will be fined? Yes, they will be fined. $25. How are we going to be fined? What? $25. $25? Mm-hmm. Now, it is, it is a no-nipple event, so we are asking that all residents leave their nipples at home. Do not bring the nipples with you. Now you got me confused because um, pasties will be provided. You ain't, what? Pasties will be provided. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen here, blockhead. Mm. You got to come to that HOA meeting with three good questions, and I ain't gonna argue about it. <laughs> I, I don't want to have to come over there and kiss you on your lips. Oh God, that would be scary. Yeah. You wouldn't want to kiss me. I might be sick. Well, I'm willing to take that risk for if the I'm community. I'm not ill, you know, or in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I will try to make. Well, let me ask you, what day is that on? It's on a Monday. Oh. Uh, and at what time? 7 p.m. at the clubhouse ballroom. Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I go to dialysis. Oh, okay. At six o'clock. Well, if you let me come over there on this, let's see, Saturday, the eighth, I'll come over there. And I'll kiss you. I'm not your... coming into town. I'm not coming into town till the tenth. Oh, okay. Um, sometime on the tenth, I'll be in town. It sounds like you're scheduling uh, an appointment with the hospital. Are you? Are you? Are you faking it? No, 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 no. I I have been. Um, I have another home down in. Mm -hmm. No need I'm to brag. I'm down here. I'm down in. I'm down in right now. And I'm not going to be home up back up there till the tenth. Uh huh. And because my son is out of school right now. I see. We're going to need you to appoint two lieutenants, sir. Two lieutenants and three good questions. We need your presence. <laughs> I would make my next door neighbor my one of my lieutenants because okay. he's the only one I really, really know. And your son, I guess he could act as a surrogate. Is he, is he around? Yeah. We do charge nipple fees per resident. <laughs> and, um, but at the moment, mm -hmm. he's, he's just 18. I don't want him coming to your meetings. Oh, Tar meetings. Yeah. I mean, he may have to come to get me there. Oh, no. Yeah. We don't want an 18 year old because we get down and dirty at our HOA meetings. Well, he might like that. Yeah. We, we like um, mature. He adults. might get it. I was going to say he might get an education. Yeah. Yeah. We like mature. Um, at mature his age. Adults. No, he, he's, he's just 18 and he just is going to college and he's taking care of me. I bet you he might be able to make Susan lactate. <laughs> she only Maybe. lactates for the young boys. She's got a she's kind of got a yep. she's got a sickness that way. Oh God. Mm -hmm. She might she might do that. She might start lactating. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, but uh no, 'cause but um between myself being dealing with a lot of problems i have between dialysis and heart disease and oh um i got a tube in my from my chest right now for a lung mm -hmm. drainage mm. i have that sounds awful a tube in my gut i got Ugh. a tube in my gut for my gallbladder right now which friday i'm going to the doctor for so 
I'd be willing to put a tube in you if you if you know what I mean. Oh God, no, thank you. Oh. All right. Well, just thought I'd offer. I don't need any more tubes. I understand. I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to get better. Is what I'm really trying to do. I hope you do get better, uh, man. I got. I did talk to somebody. I remember talking to the lady about the HOA. Yeah. We take it very seriously around here. We're a swinging community. We like to fuck and, and bust nuts. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, and your name is again? My name is Ed. Ed. I don't know karate, but I do know crazy. <laughs> well, okay. I think I got to go take a shit. And All clean, right. Well, clean go up take care of your business. All right. You have a good and night. I'm, see nice you, talking see to you. you at the meeting. I'll try to see you on the meeting. Well, like I said, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I go to dialysis in the evenings. We'll bring the um, meeting to you. All right. We'll call you back. Bye. Hello? Yeah, is this Rich the bitch? I think you got the wrong number. This is a Rich... Hello? Uh, hi, is this Joanne? Yeah, who's calling? My name is Ed. I'm on the HOA board for sh I'm sorry, your name is Ed and what? I'm on the HOA board for sh Oh, okay, okay, I apologize. No, no worries. Use loud. I think I just... How could I... Your husband, did, I just talked to him and I think he hung up on me. Oh, you want to hold on a second and I'll get him for you. Sure. <laughs> Were you just talking to somebody from HOA board? What? Yeah, he said you should come up on him. What need to say? Yeah, say hi. Hello. Yeah, hello. Is this Rich? Yes. Hey, Richie Rich. This is Ed. You hung up on me. Oh. Uh is this from the uh, pool and whatnot? Who's this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm calling from the HOA board. How can I help you? Uh, well, number one, you really shouldn't hang up on people from the HOA board. We could impose a very serious fine, and we wouldn't want to have to do that. Uh, who are you? You're calling me Rich the Bitch and stuff like this. I don't know who you are. Hey, whoa, Big Rich, calm down. Hello? Is this Mike? Yeah. Hello, Mike. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. This is Ed. I'm calling from the HOA board here. Yeah. Yeah, we saw you just moved in. How are you liking it? Yeah. It's nice. Everybody's friendly. Great. Yeah, that's that's what we like around here. So the reason I, I hate to call with bad news, uh, especially on the first encounter, but we did get a couple complaints from the neighbors there and surrounding lots. And basically, they said that wife of yours kind of, she comes out and just exposing her nipples. And we're just, we'd like it if you could just have your wife keep her nipples to herself. Well, when, when's this? Well, we've got several complaints um, from lots. Uh, let's see. I, I, I shouldn't give the lots, actually. But some of the surrounding lots around you, like four or five of them, actually. And, uh, yeah, they did call it when in. When did she do that? So we've got an encounter on the 13th. We've got one on the... In the daytime? Yeah, the 17th. We've got uh, one on the 21st. And I'm just I'm trying to kind of get to the bottom of it. When she comes out, she's usually chanting things like dead Ed. Uh, My wife? Yeah, and she's got her nipples exposed. Uh, you got the... Someone's got the wrong person, dude. My wife's chanting things when she walks outside. Yeah, dead Ed. Who's Ed? I don't know, but this is... You might want to call these people back and well, find no, out who the hell they're talking about. They pinpointed it to your lot, and it's always on your lot. Um, the nipples. My wife walks out yelling, dead Ed, and showing her nipples? Yeah, and so obviously you... Obviously you would... I'm sorry, what? That's not true at all. But that Ed, my wife doesn't even... Do you know an Ed? No. Well, 
I don't know. The, the reason, like I said, is uncomfortable as it is uh, from the HOA board. It, it got to my desk. And I did have to call. Well, I'd like to have these people confront me because my wife doesn't walk outside showing her breast. For one, I'd be pissed no, off no. as hell. No, no, I didn't say breast. I didn't say breast. I said nipples. Well, even that. It's not the breast. It's not the breast. Just the nipples. Well, I understand that. Okay, well, for one, she doesn't go outside without a bra on because I'm more freaking OCD than anybody you ever met. Huh. And she goes out chanting dead Ed. Yeah, I don't know who Ed is. I, I don't understand. I don't either. I don't understand the chant. But like I said, it got to my desk and I just, is that her talking in the background? Yeah, she's trying to figure out who, she doesn't even go out, hardly go outside. Could you tell her to shut the fuck up? What did you say to me? I said, could you have her just shut the fuck up because it's really hard to hear you and her at the same time. Well, yeah, I can, but you ever fucking say that again, you can kiss my ass. Oh. You tell me, you tell my wife to shut the fuck up? Well, yeah. You shut the fuck up. She's talking, I'm trying to tell her what happened. She, she, she doesn't go outside. Well, I mean. And if you're ahead of the HOA, that's pretty disrespectful. I'm actually the block captain. I'm the captain. I, I own this entire block. And do you know the kind of fines I can impose? I, I could make it to where she can't even come outside. No, dude, not to be rude, she hardly does go outside, sir, because she's, she's like, what am I saying? Well, she doesn't go around a lot of people. Her nipples are coming outside. I don't understand that. What do you mean by that, sir? I'm going to ground her for two weeks. Sir, I don't know what you mean by she, she's saying be, her nipples are... She's going to be grounded for two weeks by the HOA, and I think we'll review it in two weeks at the HOA meeting and possibly grant her probation at that time. I don't understand where this even came from. Uh, I'm letting you know that as the HOA board, no, what we've is just, name? my name is Dick. I'm, I'm the president for the HOA board, and okay. she, she's grounded. And, and you're going to need to make sure that you get the mail on the way inside because she won't be able to retrieve that for two weeks. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I don't even, I'm baffled, yeah. What are you baffled <laughs> about? Because well, she just doesn't go outside without a bra on, and I don't know who dead Ed is. Who dead I Ed have is. no idea who dead Ed is, but we'll get to it, and we'll have a drone watching over the house to make sure. In the meantime. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we'll send the drone over. It'll just be watching for the next two weeks above the house. Don't mess with the drone, sir. I don't even know what you put it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, she's grounded okay. for two weeks, sir. We'll review it at the HOA meeting. You can hang up now. Yes. The charging yeah. station for the drone will be installed on your... Hello? Hey, is this Big Greg? <laughs> this is Greg. Oh, hi, Greg. This is Ed. I'm calling from the sh HOA. Yeah. How you doing? What's up? I'm up in... Uh... <laughs> oh, Egghead Greg. I've been meaning to call you for two weeks. Your name's been on my desk. You're new to the community, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. How you liking it? I love it, but uh, I had to come back up here to close things out. Okay. Okay. Great. Wonderful. So Sweet. the reason for my call uh, is actually a couple of your neighbors actually accused you of smearing chocolate pudding all over their car windows and all over their windows and some kind of a <laughs> rage or hysteria late one night and we're Must just have been, yeah. trying to get to the bottom of why you would be smearing pudding on your neighbors your neighbors homes you can't do that yeah i guess that would be against the rules huh of course it's inherently against the rules and it's actually a crime <laughs> they, they actually decided not to press charges because they kind of thought you were crazy but I thought I'd give you a call. Oh, you're, you're not in any trouble. You're, we're not going to issue any fines, but we are going <laughs> to ask that you keep the pudding on your property. Okay, that'll do it, yeah. Okay. So what is the, what is the deal here? You're going to make me go through all of that again? No, I mean, seriously. Yeah, you can't. It's, it's, you cannot, it's a crime to smear pudding on your neighbor's windows. You can't do that. It's, it's against the what, law. What kind of a joke is this? 
I don't understand what the joke would be at all. You're with, you're in sh Yeah, and I'm, I'm on the HOA board. I'm one of the black captains. Uh-huh. And my neighbor is Dick. No, no, that's the president. Uh, now yeah, you, I know. He lives right next door to me, yes. But that's not the one that complained, though, at all. Um, and I'm not at uh, liberty to say. There is no, there is no complaint. I am up in. Well, I have been here since Christmas Day. No, this happened on the 13th. <laughs> on the 13th. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have no idea what this is all about. Nobody smeared any chocolate pudding any place. No one has any chocolate pudding. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, and that is something that a guilty person would say, it's okay, you don't have to get upset. I know that you did it. It's okay. Listen, you're not in any trouble. It's going to end here. There's not going to be any fines. If you'd like to come to the HOA meeting on the 17th, which is a Monday, you're more than welcome to yeah, come, yeah. and we can discuss it then. But you cannot smear. Just please, just keep the pudding to yourself, sir. <laughs> this has got to be a joke, right? It is absolutely not a joke. I'm on your side, and I'm, I'm going to try to help you with the deal here. You know, if, if you need me to come over there and get some pudding off your hand, I'd be more than willing to come and get some pudding off your hand. You can even pour it in the lakes behind the homes, but you cannot, <laughs> you can't smear it on the windows. And, and whose window was I supposed to smear this on? Absolutely not at liberty to say, because then who knows what you would I do. See. You could get yeah, upset. Yeah, it's true. I could fly down there and do something drastic, huh? It was Gary. Yeah. Yeah. No, I won't be there on the 17th. I'm, I'm still packing up here. I won't be back there till about the 20th or so. We do have monthly HOA meetings right now. The next one is not scheduled for, for February, but we, we put those in the newsletter. So if you, if you do check your mail, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I do intend to uh, see, as you know, I joined it. Well, this is going to be an infraction, and, and it will go on your permanent HOA <laughs> record. So, unfortunately, okay. your participation in the HOA meetings and, and with the board will be limited until we get this infraction cleared up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's some serious stuff. Yes, and you owe me one now. <laughs> okay. Now, are you coming to the circle um, jerk on the 28th at Denny's? Where is it? At Denny's. It's the Circle Jerk on the 28th. Um, I'm not aware of it, but I certainly would be available for it. What is it? Uh, Circle Jerk. You never heard of Circle Jerk? No. Uh -uh. Oh. Well, it's when you, you get in a group of decently average looking men at least, and, and you pull your penis out, and you pleasure each <laughs> other. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd be doing that. But we like to do ours in public. So the Denny's, they actually, we have a pretty good Denny's, deal. Yeah. yeah, we have a pretty good deal mm -hmm. with the neighborhood Denny's, the HOA and I. And so we, we get to rent it out usually from about 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. once a year. Uh -huh. And which Denny's would that be? The one closest to and, and yeah, I'm not familiar with which one that would be. Oh, well, I guess that, you should. That would be the one in or the one in Duh, it's in Don't be silly. Oh, okay. Goofball. <laughs> yeah. You ever had Wait, a circle jerk uh, with a couple of fine men? No, never have. It's a fun time. I'll tell you that. It is a very fun time. Uh, Can you believe they're still together? All the shit they've been through? Who? Your butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, man, I got to go. Your voice is making my prostate vibrate. I see. Okay. Well, I guess I'll talk to you when I get back down there. All right. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Hello. Is this Big John? I don't know how big I am, but it's John. Are you Little John? No, I could be. All right. Well, hey there, Average John. My name is Ed. I'm actually calling from the HOA. Okay. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, we saw that you just moved into the community, and we just wanted to call and say we're glad to have you. Are you liking it? Uh, yeah. Great. Now, do you plan to come to the HOA meeting on the 17th? 
Uh, I've got it marked on my calendar. Wonderful. So you do know that we are having our annual circle jerk during that meeting? What's that mean? A circle jerk. You don't know what that is? No. Well, first of all, we're going to need you to come with three very good questions for the community. That's the first task of the circle jerk. And and basically what a circle jerk is, it's like an AA meeting, but instead of holding hands, basically you're just going to be tugging on the cock next to you. And, and first timers are going to go in the middle. So you get to go in the middle. Whatever. So we can expect your presence, right? You and, and your lovely wife? My wife will not be there, no. Oh, why not? She just doesn't go to those type of things. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we, we do kind of have more men than we'd prefer to have, uh, but are you watching TV? I'm watching the ball game. Oh, well, could you turn that maybe just down a little bit while you're on the phone? I, I'm not even in the room where it's, where it's at on. I'm just curious, is it that you want all the penis to yourself? Is that why your wife won't be there, or...? I, I want what? Um, is it that you want all the penis to yourself? Is, is that why your wife won't be there? Sir! I'm just some idiot. Yeah. I don't know. I hung up on him. Yeah. Hello? Hi, this is Ed calling from the sh HOA. Uh-huh. Am I talking to William? You got it. Nice. How's it going, William? Very good. It's Bill. <laughs> oh, cool, Bill. Yeah, so did you guys just move in? Yeah, we did well, two months ago. Yeah, that's what I thought. Welcome to the neighborhood, Bill the Thrill. Thank you. Yep, so the reason for my call is that your neighbor, Joanne, she actually said that you had been smearing pudding all over her windows and all over her car. Chocolate pudding. And, and she just really, she didn't understand, number one, why you would do such a thing. And she'd, she'd like you to stop. Are you kidding? No, sir. That's bullshit. Oh, the language, sir, is not necessary. Yeah, I'm just calling as an official duty of the HOA board. Uh, I am a... Well, I think you're on drugs. Well, I guess I could say the same thing about a man smearing pudding on his neighbor's car, huh? This guy is telling me that I'm smelling, uh, putting pudding on a guy's car. Cool. Uh, what no unit number? Uh, you know, I'm not at liberty to give out her Come unit. Come on, you're, you're accusing me of something. Well, I wouldn't want you to retaliate or do anything more so than... I want to know what you're talking about. A couple of neighbors. We just... W yes, I, I'm aware. And, and, and there's no reason to get upset. Uh, you are not... I'm upset? You're accusing me of, of putting chocolate on somebody's car? You are not in any trouble? There's no fines? Have... There's no fine. I'll tell you. I want to meet you at the clubhouse. We are having a meeting on the 17th, if you'd like to come to the... We're going to see before. I'm going down to the manager tomorrow. And what's your name again? My name is Ed. Sir, no one said it was chocolate pudding. Who well, you just said I put pudding all over their car. But Who's you just... car? How did you know it was chocolate, sir? No one said it was chocolate. Listen, you asshole. Whose car? It, it was Joanne's car, but nobody Who's said... Who's Joanne? Who is Joanne? Your neighbor. And I'm just going to have to ask you to calm down. I get a call at 9.30 at night accusing me of something I've never done. Listen. I'm going to sue you. Jello pudding brand was used, and, and we've spent a... Jello pudding? The brand. We uh, don't have jello pudding we in this house. We you want to come over and check it? Listen, Joanne is the lady with the pudding all over her car. She's the one that should what be upset. What number is she in? It, it, I'm not at liberty to give out her information like that. What the hell are you calling me about for like this? Because you cannot put pudding on anyone's car or property in the neighborhood. He's telling me I'm putting pudding on somebody's car in the neighborhood, a Joanne. My wife is sitting here, and we're taking this down. Uh, is your wife Nona? Yes. 
Now, was Nona with you when you when you took the pudding out? No, he's saying that you were with me when we put the pudding out. I'm asking if if you were. No, and I wasn't there. The fact of the matter is, sir, we just don't want it to happen again. The fact of the matter is, I think... Hold on. Okay, would you like to describe what I look like? Uh, I'm not the one that reported this, this incident. I'm only calling from the HOA board. We've been investigating this actually for two weeks. We spent a good amount of money on forensics, and that's how we found out that the pudding was actually Jell-O pudding brand, and it was chocolate. Now, Nona, you sound like a lovely lady. Did you help? Did you help William maybe perhaps make the delicious pudding? Are you out of your cotton-picking mind? Oh, my gosh. I don't pick cotton. Well, you're sure just playing around here. Hello. Yeah, hi, William. Sorry, just to call back. I, I'm just calling to let you know that we will be issuing a $25 fine for that racist comment that Nona made. What racist comment did my wife make? Cotton picking. Where do you live, sir? I live in the community. You can meet me at the HOA homeowners meeting on Monday, January 17th at 7 p.m. At the I'm going to meet you tomorrow. I'm going down to the clubhouse Please tomorrow morning. Please bring a check written out to the HOA for $25. Suck my ass, you asshole. $50. $50. We Keep can, going. We can go up on the fine, sir. There will be a hearing to see if she will be expelled. Now he's going to expel you for what you said. Correct. There will be a hearing. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. That's it for now. Thanks for listening. And until next time, keep laughing.
are you out of your cotton-picking mind? <laughs> 